Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. This is a DSP video that is digital signal processing video and today we are going to see the cascade form realization of IIR filters. This is one of very important topic in DSP that is the realization. All realizations are important and in 99% of the questions this realizations are being asked mainly for IIR filters. So we have done the video on direct form 1 realization and direct form 2 realization. So the KTU exams are coming in December. So I really hope that these videos will be really useful for all of the digital signal processing students or the EC students who are preparing for DSP exams. So uh, let us see what is uh, a ca cascade form realization. That is how the cascade form realization is done. So in cascade form realization, what we are doing is we are actually going to cascade some. And what we are cascading here is the transfer functions. So we are given an expression like this. So there is a y of n given, right? So this y of n is the output function. Y of n is the, or this is the expression for your output function. That is y of n. First, what we need to do is, we need to take the is a transform of this expression. That is y of n is a transform we have to obtain or find. So how to take the is a transform? Now this is y of n. If you take the is a transform of y of n, it will be y of z. We generally use capital letters to represent is a transform. So y of z equal to 3 by 4 y of, here there is a y of n minus 1, right? So what is is a transform of this y of n minus 1 is z raised to minus 1 into y of z. Okay. Also, minus 1 by 8 into, there is a y of n minus 2 and if you take the is a transform, it is z raised to minus 2 into y of z plus x of n is a transform is x of z plus 1 by 3 x of n minus 1 is a transform is z raised to minus 1 x of z. So if you don't know how to take the is a transform, this is how you have to take. There is some terms with y of z, there are some terms with x of z. Now bring the terms with y of z to one side and keep the other x of z terms on the other side. Why we are doing this is that we need to form a y of z by x of z format. That is, we need to find a transfer function, which is equal to y of z by x of z. So, I am taking these terms to this side. That is, y of z minus 3 by 4 z raised to minus 1 y of z. Minus 1 by 8 will be plus. Plus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 2 y of z equal to x of z plus 1 by 3 z raised to minus 1 x of z. Take x of z from these two terms common and y of z from these three terms is common. So y of z into 1 minus 3 by 4 z raised to minus 1 plus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 2 equal to x of z into 1 plus 1 by 3 z raised to minus 1. So this is your terms if x of z and y of z are taken as common. Now form y of z by x of z which is equal to your h of z or your transfer function. That will be equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 z raised to minus 1 by 1 minus 3 by 4 is a raised to minus 1 plus 1 by 8 is a raised to minus 2. Okay. Now this is having a numerator. This is having a denominator. Now what I am going to do is or what we have to do is we have to split this denominator expressions as two terms. Now what why we are doing is I will explain later. So I am just removing these upper terms to write or to make space okay so this term you have to write as factors so this how can you write this this can be written as uh, this is the uh, product of two terms and the product value is 1 by 8 the sum value is minus 3 by 4 so what are the two terms it is 1 by 4 and 1 by 2 right so if you take the product of these two terms it will be 1 by 8 and the sum is minus 3 by 4 means the two terms are negative. So minus 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 2. 
So how can you split this denominator? So the denominator can be split as 1 minus 1 by 4 is an inverse into 1 minus 1 by 2 is an inverse. So I have split the denominator like this. Now why I am doing is, I will explain. So your h of z is now, numerator is say 1 plus 1 by 3 is an inverse by 1 minus 1 by 4 is an inverse into 1 minus 1 by 2 is an inverse. Okay. Now if you see this, this term, this term can be represented as the product of two terms because the denominator is a product. So you can represent this h of z as a product of two terms or two other transfer functions. That is, this h of z is represented as the product of two transfer functions that is h1 of z into h2 of z. Okay, now you have to write expressions for h1 of z and h2 of z. Okay. So, this term into this term is your this term. So, I am going to write my h1 of z as h1 of z equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 is an inverse by 1 minus 1 by 4 is an inverse. And my h2 of z as, okay, 1 by, there is no numerator, it is a 1. So, 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 is an inverse. So, what we have done here, we have done the h of z we have taken and split it as two h1 of z and h1 of z and h2 of z. There is two other terms we have done. So, this is what we are doing in cascade form realization. That is, we are going to realize a transfer function as a cascaded form of two other transfer functions. That is, here there is a h of z, there is a h1 of z here and there is a h2 of z and we are going to we are going to form a cascaded realization of the h of z. That is, h of z is going to be realized like this. So, that is what we are going to do in our realization. So, we have done till this splitting part. That is, h1 of z and h2 of z we have formed. Now, we have to realize these h1 of z and h2 of z separately by using direct form 2 realization. Then, we have to combine these two uh, direct form 2 realizations. And then we will obtain our cascade form realization. Okay. I will explain it. So we have formed separately H1 of Z and H2 of Z. And we are going to do what realization for each? Direct form 2 realization. Now if you are not familiar with direct form 2 realization, what should you do? You should go and watch my previous video. Okay. So I will do it here also. Don't worry. So there is H1 of Z. There is H2 of Z. I am going to write this H1, uh, H1 of Z as y1 of z by w1 of z into w1 of z by x1 of z. So why I have done uh, this like this is because it is like it is the way to do the direct form realization. And this is equal to what? 1 plus 1 by 3 is an inverse by 1 minus 1 by 4 is an inverse. Okay, so from this this is this will be your numerator and this will be your denominator. I am going to equate this term with the numerator. That is y1 of z by w1 of z equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 z inverse. Cross multiply y1 of z equal to w1 of z plus 1 by 3 z inverse w1 of z. Take the inverse is a transform. You will get y1 of n equal to w1 of n plus 1 by 3 w1 of n minus 1. This is your first equation to be realized. So, this much is clear, right? Now, it's not complete. Take the second part, this part. w1 of z by x1 of z equal to 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 is that inverse. Cross multiply w1 of 
z minus 1 by 4 z inverse w1 of z equal to x1 of z. Okay. Just I have done cross multiplication and taking inverse. Nothing else. Don't worry. If you practice it, it will be really simple. Now take the now take the inverse. I am writing it here. I will rub it out from this side. Okay. W1 of n minus 1 by 4. W1 of n minus 1 equal to x1 of n. And take this term to that side. W1 of n equal to x1 of n plus 1 by 4 w1 of n minus 1. Okay, so this is your second equation to be realized. And we will get the realization. If you realize 1 and 2, you will get the realization of what? You are h1 of z. Okay, I am just removing this. And I am trying to realize my Second equation first because this term is having input and the intermediate variable w of n. So you should uh, know this thing also. Sorry, I forgot to tell. W, uh, w of n or w is an intermediate variable. x of n is your input. y of n is your output. So in order to link these two variables, we are taking the w of n or w. So this equation 2 is having only the input and the intermediate term. So first we can realize the equation 2. So... What is your W1 of n? W1 of n. W1 uh, one of n is equal to x1 of n plus W1 of n minus 1. How will you obtain W1 of n minus 1 from W1 of n? By making it pass through a delay element. This is your delay element. That is z raised to minus 1 is your delay element. If we delay this term, once means we will get w1 of n minus 1. If we delay this equation or term twice, that is if we pass it through two of these blocks means we will get w1 of n minus 2. Likewise. So here we will get w1 of n minus 1. And there is a coefficient or a weight which is 1 by 4. So this is w1 of n minus 1 into 1 by 4. That is this term. So, if you add it with x1 of n, you will get your w1 of n. Right. So, this is the realization of your equation number 2. I am going to rub this equation number 2. Now, I am going to realize my equation number 1. What is my equation number 1? I can remove this also, right? What is my equation number 1? It is w1 of n plus 1 by 3 w1 of n minus 1. That is this plus w1 of n minus 1 is already here into 1 by 3 plus this one. And you will get your y1 of n. Okay. So this is the realization of your h1 of z. Okay. Now I am going to realize my Equation, uh, sorry, H2 of Z. So, if you look at the H2 of Z, there is no numerator, right? So, you can write H1 of Z equal to, uh, sorry, this is H2 of Z. So, H2 of Z equal to Y2 of Z by X2 of Z. Simply, you can write. Because there is no numerator. Numerator is 1. So, you need not introduce your W variable. Because here there was a numerator. That's why we have done like this. So, if there is a, 1 in the numerator means simply you can write this way also. If you want to introduce W and uh, also the, you will get the same answer. So it is y2 of z by x2 of z. So I am going to write it here okay. y2 of z by x2 of z equal to equate with your 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse. Cross multiply this. You will get y2 of z minus 1 by 2 is a raised to minus 1 by 2 of z equal to x2 of z. Take the inverse is a transform. You will get y2 of n minus 1 by 2 y2 of n minus 1 is a raised to minus 1 into y2. So equal to x2 of now, this is your equation number 3 to realize.
Now I'm going to realize my equation number 3. So this is, uh, you have 3, right? So you need y2 of n and you have a x2 of n. So what I will do is, I'll take this y2 of n minus 1 to this side. That is x2 of n plus 1 by 2 y2 of n minus 1 equal to y2 of n. So you are y2 of n. Pass it through a delay element. You will get y2 of n minus 1 into 1 by 2 plus your x2 of n will give you your y2. So always don't forget to give arrows to all the branches. I have explained in the earlier videos also when you are uh, realizing uh, an expression, you should always indicate the branch arrows to indicate whether the uh, how the signal is flowing. So this. So x2 of n plus y2 of n minus 1 into 1 by 2 will give you your y2 of n. So this is your realization for h1 of z. This is your realization for h2 of z. Now combine these two. Okay. Combine this and this. And I'll draw it here. Plus delay element 1 by 2 y2 of n minus 1 you are y2 of n so here there is a x2 of n right okay so if you combine the h1 of z realization with your h2 of z realization this is how you will obtain so this is the cascade form realization here we have cascaded Two transfer functions that are h1 of z and h2 of z. What we have done is we have realized the h1 of z separately and h2 of z separately using direct form to realization and then we have combined or cascaded that is a term you need to use cascaded the two transfer functions and we have obtained it like this. So here what is happening is this this y2 of n is actually your x2 of n. So if you want you can remove that y2 of n also. So this is how the, the cascaded form realization will look like. And if you want to remove this y2 and x2 means you can do it. You can just uh, use x of n and here y of n. Okay, that much is needed. So that's it. I really hope you understood the topic. That is a very, a very short question in your DSP exam. And all the best for your preparation because your exam for all the KTU students. The exam is coming on next month. So please... Uh, do watch all the videos on digital signal processing. There is a separate playlist for English videos and Malayalam videos and I am uh, mostly concentrating on the English videos because I have got a lot of comments to do the videos in English. So uh, if you want Malayalam videos means uh, please mention the comment section. I will do the videos in uh, Malayalam on your request basis. Okay. So thanks for watching and keep on watching.